The National Security Advisor to President Trump has confirmed that the U.S. agreed to pay North Korea $2 million for the release of the detained college student Otto Warmbier. Sunday, John Bolton told Fox News that Joseph Yun, the former U.S. Special Representative for North Korea policy, signed that document in June 2017. Though Bolton says the U.S. never, or at least not yet, has made any payments. Warren Beer was in a coma when he was released. Sadly, he died just days after returning here to the U.S. I'm pleased to be joined now by Joseph Yun, who also works as a global affairs analyst for CNN. Uh, so first, Ambassador Yun, is John Bolton correct that, that as you went there to get Warren Beer's release, you signed such an agreement? Yes, uh, he is completely correct. I can confirm that when I went there almost two years ago, I did sign a letter of assurance that the United States government would pay in medical expenses some $2 million. Now, were you under instructions there to do anything, were you under instructions from the Secretary of State or from the President or for both to do whatever was necessary to get his release? Well, as soon as the North Korean side told me that, that uh, his bill for two million dollars would have to be paid. Mm -hmm. Of course, I contacted my boss, mm -hmm. uh, then Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, to ask him, and he got back to me very quickly thereafter to say, "Yes, go ahead and sign." Was it your understanding that Secretary Tillerson had the president's approval for that? That okay. was my understanding. Uh, I never asked him, but that was my understanding. But this was coming directly from the yeah. president, who has since said he would never pay such. Uh, ransoms, he, he called them. Now, Bolton says the U.S. has not paid this money yet. Uh, will the U.S. pay this money? Is that your understanding? Should the U.S. pay this money? Jim, I don't know. I left the government mm -hmm. uh, about a year ago, and I know uh, until I had left, U.S. government had not paid the money. Mm -hmm. My view is that, of course, this involved two separate decisions. One is, should we sign? Mm -hmm. We did sign. Second, having signed, should we pay? My view is yes. Mm -hmm. If you've signed, if you promised another government from the U.S. government that you would make the payment, my view certainly is that we should go ahead and meet our end of the commitment. What is your, and again, this would just be an assessment, right? Why do you believe John Bolton made this public? Well, I think number one is you know, it, it did happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, you know, if you've been in the government when something comes out and it did happen, I think it's best to come out with it right. and be as clear as possible. So mm -hmm. I do applaud, uh, applaud National Security Advisor John Bolton for coming out and making, making it clear, yes, we did make that commitment. Okay. Where does this leave nuclear negotiations with North Korea, particularly after a second failed summit in Hanoi where, mm -hmm. where the president and, and, and the, the leader left with no agreement, are there still substantive negotiations? As far as I know, there is not much communications mm -hmm. between the two sides. Mm -hmm. But as we have seen, the relationship at the leader's level, that is between Trump and Kim Jong-un, apparently remains quite good. Mm -hmm. So that gives some hope that the, you know, the momentum can be sustained. I mean, remember where we were two years ago, mm -hmm. fire and fury and yeah. all that. And, and so it is good that tensions are redu reduced. But what is not good is that we haven't made any progress mm -hmm. towards denuclearization. In fact, North Korea has continued to make nuclear weapons, and they have continued to, you know, uh, go ahead and research right. missiles. Can, can you say that North Korea is playing the U.S. here? Because if they drag out the negotiations and they continue to perfect the technology... I do believe that what North Korea is trying to do is keep their nuclear weapons. As of yet, I do not see any signs that they have made any decision mm -hmm. to give up nuclear weapons completely. So, I mean, it does leave us in a very, very tough place. Ambassador Joseph Yun, thanks very much. Thank you.